Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Brissendine, and the title of my book is Grief Without Words, Healing Your Grief with Pictures. My husband died about two years ago. I knew I was going to freak out. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a psychologist, and I thought, okay, what would I tell myself to do? <laughs> if I, and so what I did was I drew a picture every day of how I felt. So what I basically did is brought some grief archetypes to paper, and I'm offering those to anyone who's grieving. And what you do is go through the book and any look at any picture and then write the date and where in your body you felt whatever you felt anger laughter doesn't matter and um, what the feeling was so do that and then if you continue to do that at some point you're gonna get the same picture so you'll know that you're moving along your grief process that way it's for people who don't draw who only have words and they get to use my art because my art is evocative because I felt so much when I was doing it it comes out so you don't have to draw. My target audience is women who are grieving, women who have been in therapy and are grieving, anybody in a grief group, and anyone who just wants to grieve themselves and not talk to anybody. Also, this is a good book for a therapist to have because uh, most people don't draw. And sometimes if the client can't think how to talk, this book could help them. Art and drawings are the the language of the unconscious. They don't, the unconscious doesn't usually think in words. And so what these pictures do is help you hear, being stuck because there's a bunch of stuff here that hurts and you can't get to it. The picture goes down and pulls up something and then you can work with it. And you automatically work with it. Once you bring it to consciousness, it gets healed automatically.